an object has mass 6 kilograms. And part 1 says we should calculate the potential energy of the body when it is 4 meters above ground. So first of all, you might ask yourself, what is potential energy? So we know that potential energy is the energy that a body has due to it being stored up. Or basically it is potential energy is stored up energy waiting to be released. Now this object is raised uh, 4 meters above ground. So we know then it has gravitational potential energy due to it being raised above the ground. So we want to find that potential energy. And again it's gravitational potential energy. So we can say then that so we can say energy which again is gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. So we're given the mass M is 6 kilograms the height is 4 meters and gravity we know gravity to be 10 newtons per kilogram so we can plug these variables in our equation and solve for the energy so first of all the mass is 6 kilograms multiplied by gravity 10 newtons per kilogram and multiplied by the height of 4 meters so this work works out to be 6 times 10 gives us 60 times 4 gives us 24 0 newton meters which is simply 240 joules then part 2 in the question says at what height above the ground will its pot potential energy be equal to 360 joules so we're going to use our gravitational potential energy formula again and we're going to say that E which is the energy, and again it's gravitational potential energy, is equal to mgh. Now we want to find the height. Height is the unknown in this case. So again, mass is 6 kilograms. Gravity, again, is 10 newtons per kg. And our energy is equal to 360 joules so let's plug in the variables here so we have 360 joules equal to mass 6 kilograms times gravity which is 10 newtons per kilograms times the unknown height so working this we have 360 joules equal to 6 times 10 6 kilograms times times 10 newtons per kilogram gives us 60 newtons and we have our h here now to find h we simply divide both sides by 60 newtons divided by 60 newtons so that works out to be h is equal to 360 divided by 60 which is simply 6 meters you can find more great physics tutorials like these over on my website at realgeneroberts.com